Hi friends, Dr. Lisa here, physical therapist and osteoporosis exercise expert, also a person with low bone mass. And so we are learning together the best evidence-based exercises that we know prevent fractures and help improve our bone density. Today I have four brand new exercises for you on the Brick House Bones Method, new strength, posture, balance, and impact. We're going to do a T exercise. We're going to do a core exercise that is spine safe. We're going to do an impact exercise using a box. If you don't have one, it's okay. I have a modification you can do without it. And we're also going to do a dynamic balance and reaching exercise because we know dynamic balance is so important for preventing falls. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for all of your comments and support. I just am overwhelmed with how much you value the quality of this content, and I'm grateful every single time you send me a message. Whenever you watch a video, you're helping yourself, and when you share it with others, you are helping them to find this valuable information. So I thank you for sharing and watching. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would be so grateful if you would. It helps the algorithm that is in YouTube to show this video to more people who would benefit from it. Thank you. All right, let's get started. You will need a strap of some sort. I like the handled version if you have one. If you don't, this CLX strap will work just fine, and you need to be able to anchor it to something securely. So I have my uh, nice little system here that my spouse built for me. I thank him for that very much. And then uh, if you have anything secure, a handrail, a grab bar, a doorknob, something really secure and heavy that you can anchor that to, that would be great. And then... Uh, you'll need a step if you have a step handy for our step down or jump down exercise. It's going to be good. Let's go. So starting with the T exercise, I have the band at approximately between the height of my elbow and shoulder. If you can do that, great. If you can't, it's still okay. If you have some ability to adjust the height of it, that's where we want it between the height of your elbow and shoulder hands are going to be facing each other belly button we're always kind of tuning into that building that foundation that turn on that muscle that pulls our belly button slightly into the spine we're not bracing super hard we're just kind of beginning to turn on those muscles to create a little support for this spine that's kind of more like a noodle right so we want the muscles to support it up tall so heart lifting palms facing each other pulling the bands out until our arms are even with our body, and then back in. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, here's a tip coming up. 10, notice I'm not leaning back, moving my hips. I keep the upper body nice and still and the hands are pressing away from each other to opposite walls. We also don't want the arms to cross the body. They're coming even with the body in this position. We don't lean back, we just reach out squeezing the shoulder blade slightly in between. So that was one round of 10. If this is your first time doing this exercise, that's great, stop there. Next time, add two rounds of 10. Do well with that, next time, add three rounds of 10. So that's one I do on a regular basis, usually three sets at a moderate resistance, so I'm feeling like I'm working pretty hard for that. All right, next, let's go to our balance and reach exercise. So very often we're going to be reaching into cabinets and closets and different places to try to do what we need to do in our day-to-day -day life. So we need to be able to step and reach to that side, reach to that side, step, reach, step, reach. We can call these starfish reaches. One-legged balance. We also get that hip abduction on one side so we're strengthening that hip 
we're strengthening the leg that we're standing on, and we're challenging our stability by moving over that foot versus just being still. And that's how real life is, right? We step and reach for something that's just out of reach for us. This is a wonderful side-to-side -side dynamic balance. So I would like you to work on doing at least 20 of these when you do a session of starfish balance reaches. Work in 20, and you could do 20 of those three times a day. And we know we can work balance exercises every day safely. All right, next exercise, we're gonna do the impact and then we're going on the mat for the core exercise. So for impact, we'll come up on our step and we want to do a jump down. So we're gonna launch off one foot, land on two, step back up, launch off one foot, land on two. If you don't have a step, do a launch off one foot, try to land on two. It's a little harder timing wise. You have to do a little push off, but you can do that. So we're working on that landing. Now you do not need to land stiff legged or hard because just your weight hitting the floor is going to be good impact. So let's start up. Let's go for 10 and I alternate right foot leads, left foot leads, but we are trying to land both feet. Three, four, five, six. You can hear it. Seven, you can hear the impact. Eight, nine, ten. If you want a little support, do a lower step. This is six inches. You can go four. You can go two. You can put a chair on each side of you so that you have support as you jump down. You can set it up for whatever level of success that you need. All right, let's make our way down to the mat. We're gonna do our core exercise. Knees bent. Okay, so we have our kind of baseline starter position. I'm going to have the hands pressing down. I want you to create tension in the mid body. So bracing through the abdomen, we're not tilting flat or arching up, but we're finding sort of that happy medium, that, that neutral position where the spine seems it's most comfortable. There may be a little arch in the back. That's absolutely fine. You don't need to try to flatten your back down like I'm doing here. Just find that neutral position, and I want you to brace that. And you brace that as if you are bracing to receive a blow to the stomach, as if someone were going to punch you, and you kind of brace there to receive that impact, and you hold that. Now we're going to bring the knees up, maintaining this tension and this brace in the lower abdomen, and heel touch one down and the other down. Now, that's the movement we're gonna do, but I wanna add a layer to here by saying press the hands into the mat. So hands are pressing, tummy is bracing, heel is touching. One, hold, two, hold. We're taking our time and moving slowly and intentionally. Three, four, looks simple, but your core is working, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. So that was one round of ten, and you can work up to 20 taps. Maybe do 20 taps, two or three sets to work on that core strength. And in future Brick House Bones videos, I will have advanced versions of that exercise. So as you get stronger, then you can go to the next level. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.